up here to the store and grab us some breakfast this morning. We got a uh, 99 F-150 5.4 liter two valve, early style 5.4 Triton. Um, and it, of course, as most of y'all know, they have real issues blowing spark plugs out of them. This one's blown a plug out of the head. I should have took some video of it <laughs> running it with one of the plugs blew out because man uh the customer actually thought he had blew the engine up um luckily you know before he got ready to put it to pasture he brought it up to the shop and let me at least look at it so we found the we found ignition coil and everything blown out of cylinder number three so y'all hang out with us we're gonna we're gonna cruise in here eat us some breakfast and see if we can show y'all what kind of kit we use to fix these spark plugs on these trucks uh, there's a bunch of different kits but this one particular kit that we use uh, i think it's an atd kit uh seems to work really really well so y'all hang out with us go along for the ride we'll uh we'll try to walk you through doing it uh, like i was saying before 99 f-150 coal blew out plug blown out Let's see if we can get y'all a shot in here. <clears throat> Cylinder number three, third one back. Passenger side. Spark plug blew out of the head. Yeah, I'm, I'm never going to be able to get the light right. I've got everything pinned back in this corner right here. I'm trying to get you a little better angle, but we're going <clears> to. <throat> We're gonna drill this bad boy out. This kit that we've been using all these years. We've got several different kits, but this uh, this is an ATD um, advanced tool design. It's a ATD 5400 kit, and man, this thing really works well. Um, got these inserts. The plug will screw into the insert. And this insert will be threaded into the cylinder head after we drill and re-thread the head cylinder head the nice part about this kit is it comes with this collar so we can actually drop this collar into the cylinder head and this is machined to fit the uh, ignition coil bore so it keeps you straight every time um, Probably the biggest thing that you got to make sure of is make sure you get the piston down and the valves are closed You don't want to you don't want to go down that road Then you have to end up pulling a cylinder head anyhow, so we've already got this uh, piston down uh, Valves closed, so we're gonna try to set this thing up and just keep drill this baby out and re-thread see what we can do Go ahead and get this insert down in the cylinder head Send it in. One thing I like to do, guys, is put a little grease on the drill bit. This uh, this will keep a lot of the uh, aluminum shavings while we're drilling this on the bit. Obviously, we're going to have to blow this out and clean it out once we're done. But it's just just a little tip. All right, got that baby in there. So let's see. drill this thing out and boy you want to talk about a this is a feeling that uh, never never ever seems right <laughs> drilling down into a cylinder head i normally let ian do this that way i don't have to feel this feeling yeah. makes me cringe you're welcome ian all right here goes nothing at least if i screw up it's on video Well, I was about to say, we either went through the cylinder head or through the piston, one of the two. <laughs> Man, this thing's got excessive blow by now. I don't know what happened. Goodness, all right. Come on out of there. It's just no room to work on anything in here. Ugh, get a pair of pliers in there to get a hold of that thing. 
sometimes these things will slip right up sometimes they won't you just gotta there we go all right guys oh yeah check all that out so look like i said it's not gonna save all of it but that kept all that aluminum from going down in the engine now, obviously there's still some down there we gotta we gotta clean all this up but yeah we're committed now guys what a mess I knew, I knew Dad probably had 25 of those rags laying over there drying out because you know we can't afford to buy hand towels. <laughs> we reuse coffee. <laughs> we, we reuse old coffee and we refuse to throw away hand towels. Now we've got, uh, got this drilled out. I'm not even gonna worry about cleaning right now because um, we're about to re-thread, but this collar, you got to do this in reverse order because the threader once the collar is down in the cylinder head, this threader will not fit in. So you have to, you actually have to work in reverse. Um, and I'm going to look this up and verify, but I'm pretty sure when I'm threading this, you're supposed to thread until the bottom of this collar meets this recess up here. Thread until it, it lines up. So we're going to, we're going to run this down in here, see what happens. Hopefully we can just fix it. Oh, come on now uh, a lot of times when you pull this thing out after drilling it these shavings get stuck in here and makes a mess there we go there it goes okay now this is kind of strange too because generally when you're cutting threads doing any kind of tap work you don't generally use an air tool but we found it best to just go ahead and just put the air gun on this thing on the old air ratchet and just start it and go with it so we're gonna give it a whirl that quick we have cut threads in the cylinder head and I know like I said I'd, I'd love to get y'all a shot down in there but I don't think there's any way to so at this point we got to uh, mix up some JB weld and get this insert ready to thread down in here so we'll get after it I hope you ate your Wheaties this morning. All right. I can track. I think we got 100 and Mix us up a little JB weld here. What's that? That's all it ended up being? I figured it was. I figured it was going to be a lot more than that. Steel. Throw us a little hardener in there. Yeah. JB weld action going. Get her good mixed up. Get some JB weld put on this bad boy. I know every every single video I've got, Dad's talking about some kind of politics or conspiracy theory. <laughs> oh, that ain't politics or that. Oh, 
until the aluminum hat comes out. Now. The new event is well underway. Okay, now we're to fix the Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. that's probably trying to get nailed involved. Put it all together. We're going to install it. All right. Ready to, ready to try to install this bad boy. Well, I almost messed up, y'all. We're going to blow this bad boy out right quick. Where, did you go up the plug in? No, no, I just about forgot to blow the, uh, got to blow the, uh, shavings out of here. You didn't mess up that, almost messed up that bad, dude. Almost did it. That's the best part. Because like I said, whenever I screw up and do something stupid like I do every day, it'll be on video. Good thing is all these shavings are aluminum, so they're not bad at all for this engine. Now we just wait, and hopefully, whenever I crank it up, the engine doesn't come apart and we don't blow this plug out. So, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Done this last night, so it could have set overnight. But, I didn't do it right. Yeah. Built to last. Get this bad boy in. If that one don't work, they'll give you another one. Yeah. Lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty. Just make sure your phone number is right on your account. They can't verify that you actually bought the parts got their name on it. Ridiculously tight, people. No need to be stripping out an ignition coil on the intake. The leak won't fall out. It'll just blow out if it's a fool.
Oh. We're going to edit it up. I'm going to have to because I screw up regular, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, this is a 90, 99 F-150 5.4 Triton, two valve, not a three valve, a two valve, early engine. And we use this, uh, this is the ATD 5400 repair kit. Highly, highly recommend it. We've been using these for years. Like I said before, I've got probably, I think we've got three or four different styles. Um, and actually this is the kit that I bought to um, redo threads that have already been redone, if that makes any sense. So this is an oversized uh, collar that's actually oversized from what you typically buy at the parts store. So we've had really good luck with these. If you've got any questions, just let us know. But appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. F1 healthy. Alright y'all. Moment of truth. Let's see what this baby's gonna do. Have me worried there for a minute. <laughs> it's running a little bit rough, but we're gonna have to run it for just a second to see what's going on. Other than that. You can hear there's no uh, no compression flying out of the cylinder head like there was before. Hope y'all enjoyed that. Appreciate it, guys. Well, as it turns out, the old F-150, she's the gift that keeps on giving. We got cylinder three uh, spark plug drilled out, re-threaded, and put an insert in, fired it off. It's running great on cylinder three. Got a dead skip on cylinder four, so. Like I said, the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, so we're gonna go a little deeper with this one. I'm gonna pull the, uh, pull the coal out, pull the plug out, see what it looks like. Probably end up with another bad coal and swap the plugs. We'll see what happens.